Hey guys, welcome to JoJo Cider Reviews and More. I'm JoJo. Tonight I'm going to be reviewing a classic that's hard to find though. Um, this is Ham's Beer. And it's America's classic premium beer born in the land of sky blue waters. It's a famous saying now that it used to be in a lot of the commercials. Born in the land of sky blue waters. It is brewed in true family tradition from purest water and choices, barley, malt, grain, and hops. This is 4.7%. Uh, that sa it says 4.7 on the can. Um, let me just find this here and make sure. Because Beer Advocate actually says it's 4.6%. Uh, yeah, it says 4.7 on the can. I don't know if you can see that. But uh, 4.6 on Beer Advocate. So let's go 4.7 because this is what it says on the can. Uh, this is uh, brewed since 1865. Milwaukee, Wisconsin, although it originally was brewed in Minnesota. And it's only in select states. Um, I found this in Norwood, Massachusetts, which not terribly far from here, but it's a good 40-minute drive. Um, it's the first I've seen hams in a long time. My friend Pat and I uh, drank hams quite a few years ago, one of our camping trips, but I haven't. this is the first time I had seen it since then. Um, so Thomas Metal... Um, I think it's Thomas Metal 72, the beer reviewer uh, from Massachusetts said it was in Norwood, so thanks for, thanks for uh, pointing that out. Um, there's also tall cans, which I've never seen around here anyways. We just, this is only, you know, I've, I've only seen the 12 ounce cans both times. Um, it gets a 67 out of 100 on Beer Advocate, which actually isn't a bad score for a um, adjunct lager. Um, Jacob Schmidt was actually part of this company early on before he, you know, obviously made the, or got involved with Schmidt beer. Um, this is a Molson Coors product. Theodore Hams is where the names come from, comes from. There's been other varieties of this, like uh, uh, Special Light, um, I think Golden Draft, I wanna say. Um, so yeah, let's get right into the review. Okay. Um, going for the pour. Again, not that easy to find, at least in Massachusetts. Looks like a uh, crisp beer on the pour anyways. Pretty good head retention. Um, I'd say about two, just under two fingers worth of head. It's kind of dissipating though, almost like a soapy head. Um, slightly off-white head. Very crisp though, and it's a straw color, classic lager appearance. Kind of a yellowish. Um, like a lighter yellow, you can see through the glass, almost like a pale appearance. It's going for the aroma. Yeah, it smells grainy, sweet, you know, white bread. Maybe a touch, and I mean a touch of hot bitterness, but it mostly just smells like a fresh, clean beer. Without further ado, salute. Yeah, a little bit of sweetness, um, but a super, super easy going, refreshing beer. Light mouthfeel, clean water, bready hops. I'm sorry, bready, I guess that's the yeast. Or the malt. Um, but sweetness, grainy. You know, um, there's a good amount of sweetness, sweetness which I like. Kind of reminds me of a little bit of, um, what's that? I guess bush beer to me is a little bit sweeter. Finish a semi dry. I don't even want to say totally dry because there's some sweetness to it. Almost has that, for some reason, reminds me of like a, what's that, Left Blonde? Um, Belgian, L-E-F-F-E, -E, which I haven't reviewed on this channel, but kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Almost no lacing, but it's okay. Head, head is gone. Um, super sessionable. Um, I see this with a lot of my beers, but you could drink this all year round. I guess it's more of a spring, summer beer, but... Very good. Um, like I said, it's rare to find around here, so I wanted to review it while I could. Um, I reviewed Schaefer earlier, so I'm trying to review more obscure beers for a score.
I think it's good. I'm going to go with the 8.6 out of 10. Um, a solid B, uh, almost in the B-plus range. Um, I would definitely get it again. This is Hams since 1865. Appreciate you guys watching. Until next time, salute.